Hi. Every day I do a live stream covering the news of the day. I love doing that and quite often I run into new tools that would be great to cover on my regular channel, but my polished videos tend to be a bit of work. I want to explain things so everyone can follow along and ensure I don't miss anything. But that means something I want to look at might not get reviewed for weeks or months. So I had an idea for another style of video. It's gonna be a quick look, and I should be able to turn these out more quickly. I'll spend 10 minutes offline doing some research, maybe a little bit more to install it, and then 15 minutes live-ish going through the product, showing you my first impressions, because they will be my first impressions. I'll always try to remember to cover the costs, licensing, and sometimes use cases. Again, these are not polished, but it'll give you an, a quick idea if something's worth your time to try it out yourself. So let's try this out with a tool I just discovered a few days back. It's called Idea Generator, and the URL is ideagenerator.ai. It's created by someone named Chauncey Hunter, and there appears to be no cost to using it. He even says it's free forever. Mostly it's an ad for his Notion referral code and a link to his startup ideas service. So let's get into the quick look. Here we go. So I've started up my browser. I'm using the Arc browser and I've navigated to ideagenerator.ai. And it looks like it just is this box where I can enter in um, what do I have a question about? What am I? What do I need ideas about? Uh, and it's showing me some examples, ideas for theme parties for adults, for creating engaging content for YouTube or podcasts, for uh, online tools to help grow my business, um, ideas for starting a side hustle or freelance business. You know, all these things are possible first things you can ask. Um, so, okay. So prompt tips, specify the video content topic or theme, mention intended audience or platform, uh, define the desired for, uh, video length and format. So for next time, maybe you wanna add these things to it. And so, um, so it's, here's a bunch of ideas. Have a couple meet in a secluded spot and capture their genuine reactions as they see each other for the first time. Okay, that's not quite what I was meaning, but so I should have given more details in the uh, include candid interview. Okay, this is thinking I'm talking about uh, people. Tips for creating a first look video about software, interesting AI software products. but intended for tech enthusiasts, enthusiasts, and should be 15 minutes long. Okay, so that helped. I was able to fill in the, the prompt a little bit better based on uh, the ideas it gave me. Okay, so Prompt tips uh, include expertise level. I, I think I kind of did that. Desired tone. Okay, I said informal, but that's good to know. Uh, key features or aspects. I like. Okay, incorporate a reactive commentary style where you provide live thoughts and reactions as you explore the AI software products, giving viewers a real-time experience. This is exactly what I'm doing. Uh, include a segment where you interact with the AI software in unconventional ways to showcase its versatility. That's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, integrate humor by creating skits or jokes. Uh, I don't, I don't do skits and jokes. Uh, that, that, uh, okay, but it's a good idea. Implement a rapid fire review format where you spend a short amount of time on each software product, highlighting key features. That's pretty good. Uh, experiment with different filming locations to add visual interest and variety to the video, such as filming outdoor. This is something I'm actually going to be doing. Um, soon, so that's that's pretty cool. I invite guest tech enthusiasts or experts to join you in the video, fostering dynamic. Dis that's pretty good. So all of these are pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go back to this top one because that's actually kind of what I'm doing. And so it 
gives me now tips to, you know, if you're going to do that, these are some things you should keep in mind. Um, how can you best restructure your first look video to maintain an off the cuff and informal style while showcasing AI software products? What are some effective ways to, you know, so it gives me all these things to, to think about. If this is your idea, here's some things you, some things you should keep in mind as next steps. So this is great. This is awesome. Um, can you suggest techniques to keep the video engaging? Uh, what are some key elements I should highlight to, you know, all these things are great, but then they're all links. So how can I best structure my first look video? Click it and it does, uh, you know, uh, you can search Google, but it's also an AI is giving me an answer. Well, here's a, here's a suggested structure. Okay, how about uh, some effective ways to incorporate reactive commentary? And one effective way to include this is to do this. This is amazing. Uh, I, you know, it reminds me of the five whys, which I think was, was it Toyota or, or something like that? Like, it's, it's often something that comes up at events like DevOps days as a, uh, a way to troubleshoot a, a problem. You've got a problem with Kubernetes. You've got a problem with uh, whatever, uh, Postgres, you know, and there's these five, why do you think this is happening? And, and it kind of leads you down this path to the, the source problem. So, um, uh, I think this is just so cool. Uh, and then there seems to be a way to say, what's this, what's this icon? I don't know what these icons are, but I liked this one. Oh, it's all one or What's that? Oh, that's saved. Okay. And open. I don't know. Uh, but then you can also ask additional questions based on this, which is awesome. Um, tell me more about the intro. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is such a, all of these things are possible using Olama or ChatGPT or anything like that. But the fact that it kind of guides you along in a really interesting way is just, just fascinating. I, I, I love this. I, I don't know what happens if I search Google um, tips creating a, and it, it points me at maybe some of these videos are interesting or uh, these, these are interesting, um, the search results. It's just awesome, awesome. Let's try a new one. Um, I have a hard time remembering to drink water. I never drink enough. I always forget. How can I get better at remembering to drink water? I don't know if you have this problem. I have this problem every day. I have this water bottle. It's always, it's almost always has water in it because I rarely touch it, except at the end of videos. Okay, press enter. Set reminders on your phone at regular intervals throughout the day. Use a water bottle with time markings to track your intake. Time markings, that's, that's kind of good. I mean, what's nice about this is that um, it, it's Bluetooth at the bottom. And so it lets the, um, it's, it synchronizes with an app to show how much of the water I drank. So as soon as I put it down on a flat surface, it measures how much water is still left, magic, and submits it to this app, but I don't look at the app. Create a water drinking challenge with a friend. That's good. Water infusions, flavored water. Uh, water tracker, I kind of have that, but I don't look at it. Use a habit tracking app. All these are great, great ideas and I can load more. Invest in a smart water bottle. That's what I have. So what happens at, what are the top rated smart water bottles available in the market? Can you provide a compare? I mean, God, this is awesome. Okay, let's move on to, um, I have an idea for a new business selling soap for dogs. If you're at a event at APC, a travel firm about a year and a half ago, it's like dogs over dogs. Uh, dogs. Um, how should I go about becoming familiar from this? Okay, define target market. 
breed size, skin sensitivities, and so forth. Consider unique selling points, scents, and natural ingredients. Explore marketing uh, strategies. These are all good ideas to include in the prompt next time around. Collaborate with popular pet influencers, so to promote your dog soap brand on social media. Great idea. Create a subscription service for monthly dog soap deliveries. Great idea, because nobody remembers to cancel that subscription. Develop a line of eco-friendly and biodegradable dog soaps. Amazing. I mean, this is awesome. Uh, and we can extend a referral program. Tell me more about our referral program. So I click on this. How can I create an effective referral program for my dog soap business? What strategies can I use to promote the referral program to my existing customers? How do I track and... This is just so... I mean, it... it I keep throwing ideas at it that are like off the wall. And every time it's, um, specify file types. You need to help, help with organizing, mention current file, uh, organization method, you know, help things that help, uh, clarify the prompt, utilize a cloud storage, uh, service like Google drive or Dropbox, sort files into categories, Use Hazel uh, file management software like Hazel. I don't know if Hazel is file management, but anyway, Forklift um, to automate the organization of files on your Mac. I use Forklift. That's cool. Um, large files to an external hard drive. Tell me more about that. How do I identify the largest files taking up space on my Mac? How do I do that? Well, here's how you do it. <laughs> oh, I love this. I mean, I, I feel like. This is the, this is like a modern AI equivalent of IMDB, you know, you, or, or Wikipedia, where you, you go to the site, you find one thing, and then you have links to all these other, and you go down these tangents, these rabbit holes to find out about other stuff. And it's just fun. This is a fun website that I feel like is actually useful and it's free forever. Uh, so, uh, and you know, if you upgrade Notion to a paid version, then he gets a little money out of it. And, uh, which seems fine. Um, down here, it's got a link to his, um, I've got this bar in front of the way, um, to his, uh, Twitter. He doesn't say anything about who he is. <laughs> I love this. This is so awesome. So anyway, that's my first quick look. Hopefully you found this entertaining. I found it entertaining. Now I know about ideas for my dog soap business that I'm gonna make millions off of. I'd love to hear what you do with this service, with this uh, uh, idea generator. I think it's really cool. Um, let me know if you come up with any cool ideas and maybe you need a part. No, I don't know. I don't want to be in that business, but uh, I'd love to know if you have any cool ideas that you come up with and um, how you how you use the site uh it'll be fun to to share so thanks so much for stopping by this is the first of my quick looks we'll see if this uh if you like this and and i'll do more of these bye uh what else can i ask where do i go to get ice cream made of bananas. The local artisan.